Hello, prophetic eagles. You know, sometimes we move along and we forget what God has said to us in the past while we're looking for new direction. Today, the Lord really placed on my heart the vision that I had two years ago, October of 2018, on the Lion's Army. And so I went back and watched that video, and it was just impressed me so much about how that it applies to what's going on today. In fact, in the video, I mentioned several things leading up to the 2020 presidential election. So I'm going to play that clip for you to remind those of you who have watched it, but also those that have never seen it before, for it to really get into your heart and explode faith and boldness, uh, anointing on the inside of you. So watch the video, and then I'm going to come back and share a few other things. I've got seven items here that I want to relate to you. I want to talk to you about the lion's army, the lion of the tribe of Judah. I want to share with you a victory that's happening in the spirit right now. The first thing that I began in the spirit, the way it swirls around me when these things begin to occur, is that I could see darkness and I could see lightning. Here I am talking to people. In fact, standing behind the podium teaching a class. And I could hear what just muffled sounds that resembled strife and conflict. I would catch just glimpses, uh, the glint of light that seemed to be reflecting off of swords. I slowed down in my presentation, my teaching, and the Spirit of God overwhelmed me, invaded me, and just began to pull me away. The scene became clearer and I could see a battleground. And that's when I stopped the class and I just shared what I just shared with you. I said, let's go into prayer. And we did. And as we did, the vision developed and went further. I could see this large battleground in front of me in the spiritual realm. It was a full vision. It was an open vision occurring. On the far side of the battleground were these hordes of grotesque, disfigured, demonic spirits. They were advancing and coming toward us. When I say us, my position and those that were around me. They were screaming, the sound of their screams, the top of their lungs, just screaming and screaming was violent. It was in anger and rage, blood-curdling screams, demonic spirits as they were advancing. Their screams were not only of anger and rage and meant to psychologically throw the opposing army off, but behind the screams, hidden, in those screams, I could sense the fear. The fear that they have of losing the fight, of losing their purpose. It was a fear that was so strong you could tell that it caused them pain. But they screamed even louder. On the near side of the battleground were warrior believers and warrior angels, a mighty army. They were covered in light and glory. There was such a strength and a determination on the inside of them that it's like this battle is so important, we will not lose. We recognize our authority and who we are, and we will not lose. We will give, not give up, we will not back down. And they stood in confidence against that fear and the screams of the advancing horde. I was part of the army. It was 
it's hard to explain, but simultaneously, I was both watching it from an elevated position as well as being part of that righteous army. I could see that the army wore armor, they carried shields, they had drawn swords, light was reflecting off of the swords as they held them up, swords against the screams. Then I heard a thundering voice from behind the righteous army. And the words that just echoed with authority and power across the battleground, saying to the demonic legion, you have lost, we have won. And as that voice thundered, I turned to look, and it was a large lion that was right immediately behind the righteous army, the lion's army. I'm, I'm getting overcome right now. I'm back in it. I wish I could articulate what I see and feel adequately to you. Just catch the anointing. Catch what the Spirit of God is dropping on the inside of you right now. As the words from the lion came, they entered the army, the warriors. And simultaneously, with the voice of the lion, the warriors released the same words. It was as if one voice through thousands, millions perhaps, all came forth with the lion's voice. You have lost. We have won. It was a faith declaration. The strength, the confidence, the authority from heaven, from the throne, through the lion, through the backs of the warriors and out of their mouths. And it was like the sound of many waters as it flowed across the battlefield toward the advancing horde. And then it shifted a little bit. And at that point, the lion's army at the same time was lifted up into the air and was carried over the heads of the advancing horde. And they began to speak down upon the advancing horde. Words of authority, the word of God, faith declarations, speaking against them in great authority and power. And when they did, there was a flaming sword that came out of their mouths. And the swords launched straight down on the head of those advancing legions. There were angels in the fire, in the swords. And when the fire would hit one of the demonic spirits, then his power was diminished. He slowed. His screams weakened. And it was having an effect. And then I noticed behind the legion arose a great beast. And I knew it was the same beast that I had seen in preceding visions. I knew it was the same beast that was connected with Leviathan and with, Le with Jezebel. The same beast that I saw before, come up to the edge of Europe, 
the West Coast, jump into the ocean and swim over and crawl up on the East Coast of the United States. And that beast began to yell as loud as he could. It was saying, scream harder, scream harder. But it was too late. The screams were no match for the flaming swords of the lion in the mouths of his warriors. And the battle, the tide of which, began to change. I knew instinctively, I could feel it, that the beast had the ability to influence and call in more warriors and more screams. But the power was in the screams. But the authority in the advancing army of God, the lion's army, was also coming out of their mouths in prayer, in faith proclamations, in prophetic declarations, in speaking the word, in in pulling down the strongholds and the strategies and the structures, all the things that was happening. People, I feel that this vision is timely in several respects. Number one, for what's going on in the spiritual atmosphere over America right now. For what's going on in the confirmation hearing for Judge Kavanaugh, for the upcoming midterm election, for I even see behind that the 2020 presidential election. I see all these things just coming at me in the spirit. And I hear the screams and the violence and the threats. And the Lord says, do not be afraid. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. The lion's army is well able to do its job. The lion's army with flaming words of authority will rise up and defeat the enemy. I also feel that it's a progressive revelation that we will see, a progressive vision that we will see come to pass in various forms through the upcoming years. The lion's army, if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are part of the lion's army. If you will dare to stand up in prayer you're part of the lion's army. If you will stand against the unrighteousness, if you will stand against the work of the beast, you don't have to fight the beast. The lion will destroy the beast, but you are part of the army that is launching those fiery projectiles down on the heads of the legions of the damned. And it is disempowering them. It is stopping them. It is paralyzing them. It is diminishing their power and their authority in the earth and in America and against the body of Christ and against God's purposes and plans for the political structure of our nation, the destiny that he has already proclaimed. You are a warrior. Clothed in beauty and garments of praise. Armor of God. Shield of faith. Sword of the Spirit. And the angels are flowing like fire from your mouth. As you speak into the second heaven, the spiritual atmosphere. The words of the lion. You have lost. We have won. And every other word 
that he places in your mouth. Stand up and give it with third heaven authority. I encourage you. I don't know where to go with this right at this particular point. I almost didn't share this video. It, too precious, too much. But I knew that there was a revelation and a spirit, an anointing of encouragement that was meant to ride on it into your ears and into your heart today. I pray for you. Receive what the Spirit of God is saying to His Ecclesia Church. Wasn't that powerful? The anointing on that video, tremendous. And it is just as real to me today as when I experienced that full-on vision. But it also applies to the circumstances that's going on in America today. God knew what was coming up. And that's why He wanted His army to know that the Lion of the tribe of Judah is roaring. He's roaring through us, and we say to the enemy, you have lost, we have won. Praise God. There are seven things that I wanted to encourage you with. These are just kind of steps and things that I felt in my heart the Lord wanted us to be careful of and to make sure that we do it. Number one is walk in love. Stay in love. Number two, Stay out of strife. Strife will ground eagles just as quick as condemnation or any other thing. you got to walk in love. When you're walking in love, then you're realizing that the one who has the love is the greater one who is on the inside of you. Love is what keeps the army, the lion's army, going strong. Number three, take communion as often as you can. It cleanses us. It helps in renewing spiritual strength. Number four, don't take as fact what you see and hear on the news media and on the internet. But reduce your consumption of that and stay true to the Word. That's number five, read the Word of God daily. Daily. Read it from the Scripture itself. Not just what you hear somebody else quote or say. Read it. Number six, Pray in tongues daily, because that not only edifies the inner man, but it begins to reveal the mysteries of God and bring them forth. And it enhances your perceptions, spiritual perceptions, to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and operate in the power of God. And number seven is use your third heaven authority. You are a third heaven creation, operating in third heaven revelation, functioning with third heaven authority. And you have the ability to say to the devil, to the cohorts, Jezebel, Antichrist, you have lost, we have won. And we'll stand true. Praise God. In the description below the video, you'll find a link to our website. And if you go to our website, wordoflifeworldoutreach.org, you'll find on the homepage a couple of links to prayers that will enhance your prayer life and help you out a lot. While you're there, go to the secure donation page and consider becoming a partner of the ministry and bonding the anointing and revelation of this ministry and the prophet's reward to your heart. I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the anointing on that vision, the strength and the power and the wisdom and the direction that comes in the spiritual realm from the lion's army vision and the reality of what Jesus is doing in our lives, be released into the people now for protection, for health, for strength, for prosperity, for revelation, the goodness of God coming into their lives now in the name of Jesus Christ.